on the aloe farm here where we are at the moment, every day of the year, I have new plants that have never, never been anywhere in the world, flowering for the very first time. So I'm opening new lucky packets every day of the year. How cool can that be? Oh, you tell me another job. That's better than that. Fifty years. Fifty years of breeding is a long time. So um, along the way we have created all sorts of plants and we have won awards, numerous awards actually. A lot of luck is involved, but plant breeding involves numbers. If you want to be successful, you've got to do large numbers. We hand pollinate Agapanthus alone, about, and we raise about 12,000 seedlings every year. And the genetics we use is always better because we've already got such an amazing base. So all the plant breeding is based on what we've done before. So we keep on improving on what we do. We would find a stamen that's ready, like that, and we would put pollen on it. Yeah? And those are the seeds we can then use to, um, to sow. And we'll keep record of this parent with the pollen parent. And then from there onwards, we will then get little babies that will have a mixture of two interesting plants and those little babies can then maybe give us a new cultivar. It takes years because we have to flower them, assess them and once we've actually selected a plant and we say we like this for example, it could take about six or seven years before it actually reaches the market and we start selling the plant. So it is a slow process, but it's extremely rewarding. <laughs>